Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger from Holsinger's Fly Shop here again with you today. Today I'm going to tie probably the simplest fly I can teach you to fly. Tie, that's a waltz worm. Uh, simple, yet probably, I probably caught more fish on this than any other fly I've ever, ever nymph fish with. Uh, all we're going to use on this fly is, on this one I'm going to use a size 10 hook. This is a .010 lead wire. I'm just going to wrap it the whole shank of the hook. We're going to put a lot of weight on this fly. This is one of my, usually my bottom fly. Uh, I use this as for weight to get my line down. Uh, in our area we have a ton of crane flies. Crane flies will come off the same time with the sulfurs. I, when I started fly fishing I used to mistake them for sulfurs. So they're the same color. But uh, they're actually a sulfur colored looking, look, they look like a mosquito but they're a sulfur color. They come off the same time as the sulfurs do and they'll come off pretty much all summer long. Um, this fly it also, this pattern will also imitate a scud. Uh, the one particular stream I fish contains a lot of scud and a lot of crane flies so this is a very very successful fly in that creek. This was uh, created by one of the local fly fishermen here in my area, uh, Walt Young, that's why it's called the Walt's Worm. All you use on it is the lead wire and then we're going to wrap some brown thread over it. I like to use the brown thread, it makes an, it's a nice color, it works with the works with my dubbing and uh, it looks good tying the head off with the brown on the brown. I'm just going to cover that up there pretty good. Try to cover the lead up so you don't fall through when you're wrapping your dubbing on it. And uh, then I'm going to work back to the back. One technique on this that I found that works really well when I first started tying it, I didn't used to tie it with a dubbing loop. Now I tie my hair's ear in with a dubbing loop. All that you use on this is lead wire, thread, and hair's ear. Just a natural hair's ear color. I'm going to take some of that out and uh, the dubbing loop is pretty simple to use. It takes a little getting onto. Once you do, it's pretty simple. We're going to use your tool. You're going to make a loop. I'm try to get this at a good camera angle here. You're going to make a couple of loops around there. Tie that down. See, so you have a nice, you're going to have a nice loop here to dub your dubbing into. And then run your thread to the end. And then I'm going to put my dubbing in between this loop. I'm going to spread it out here. Uh, I'm going to use an extra hand. I'm going to stop talking here for a second. So. Okay, you're going to get your dubbing in between the loop like that and all you're going to do is twist it. By twisting it like this, it turns the dubbing into like a rope and it makes it a lot stronger. If you do not twist it up like this, your fly won't last as long. You'll catch a lot more fish if you twist it into this dubbing loop. Your fly will last a lot longer and the dubbing won't come off of the, off the hook as easily. Okay, and you still gotta dub it just a little bit. You can twist it on there. Make it a little bit tighter on the hook. And then once you have your dubbing loop, all you do is start wrapping that around the hook. Wrapping it from the front to the back. And this is imitating a larva. It's not a really thick larva. It's, uh, so you don't want to wrap it on real thick. Just side by side, the whole way up. Not really overlapping. But you see also with this dubbing loop, it's going to create a lot of like a hairy look here. You want to keep that hairy look. I found that really, really works. Like I said, it also imitates a scud pattern. And uh, the scud have a lot of legs on the bottom. So all that hair sticking out just kind of represents the legs on the, on the scud pattern. Also, I use this uh, early season like on a stock trout. It kind of closely resembles a wax worm. A lot of, you know, a lot of your bait fishermen like to use wax worms and are real successful at it. This is just a, another imitation of something like that. It's just a natural looking thing, just a natural wormy looking thing. You want to wrap that up to the front, way up, 
hold it up, make a couple of loops around there. A couple of tight loops. And then you're just gonna I have a couple more here just to be safe. Then you're gonna cut your dubbing loop off after you have it tied down. Make a nice little head here. And then we're gonna whip finish it off. Yep, I'm gonna whip finish it. And there you have a waltz worm. It's that simple. It's as simple as it is effective. I promise you if you learn to fish this right and the correct way to fish this fly is on the bottom. If you get this fly on the bottom, you're going to catch lots of trout on it. Give this a try and uh, this is going to be the first fly in our beginner series. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy tying it and I promise you if you learn to fish it, you're going to catch tons of fish. Thanks a lot. Make sure you visit us on wholesingersflyshop.com.